Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. I don't suppose there's a need for an introduction, is there? We'll do it anyway. The mechanic, Tracy Thompson's racing here. We're just doing a quick follow up video. Well, I'll say quick, we'll see how quick is quick. Um, just on our top arm bump stops. Now, I don't know how many are aware, but your top arm bump stops are quite crucial obviously in keeping your suspension in place that's why they're there but they also prevent body roll so we'll have a quick look under here we'll see this gap here should have the top arm bush bump stop mounted in it and what that'll do is stop this arm from coming down and allowing this suspension to decompress because as it's done that that now leaves all the weight on our shock absorbers and the valves, they're not going to like that. But that aside, restricting how much this arm movement releases will reduce body roll on the front of your car. So by putting decent bushes, decent bump stops in here and controlling how far this arm can return under hard cornering when it's unloaded it will reduce body roll so it doesn't let the wheel settle down to the ground it holds the weight of the car making the body stay flatter as you corner so I was just disintegrated at the last race you know you've seen them um, you've seen the tires you know it, it totally put our suspension out and that's that's what it costs us in tires um, and the bump stop was actually there it was just in that bad a condition and it had moved out of position with being hammered around. And it also lets these, which was our problem, lets the cone on the high low sit loose. And then it gets out location and affects the ride height. So we've gone to mini mine. Can't find where we've put them. <laughs> Down beside me. we've got two sets on the edge got these bushes I'll get them out of this package as well we have a, we have a shock absorber pin that we're going to put in shortly as well um, right so these bushes Either side, we'll take the weight on this jack to compress the suspension and then it'll slide in. You can actually fit these, it's that easy, it's that easy a modification to do to reduce body roll and just improve the handling of your car. Obviously if you've got a Mini that's of any age, the original rubbers probably, bump stops probably won't even exist. If they do, they'll be in that bad a condition that they're not doing anything. So it's such an easy job to do, you can do it without taking the wheel off. All you really need to do is make sure the handbrake's on, turn the wheel so you can get access. As long as you can remove the screw which goes in this hole here, no problem. That's all it is. It's one screw and they come out and then you can put the new one straight in. Ten minute job, if that, as long as the screw comes out. How many times are we a ten minute job? Anyway, I get these out of the packaging. I'll compress the suspension by letting the jack down, let it sit onto this axle stand and then we'll get one of them put in on this side. Right guys, there we go. Little polyurethane bush. I said these were £8.50 from Mini Mine. £8.50 and a 10 minute job to improve the handling of your car. It's a no brainer. And obviously, um, something we should have thought about earlier, really, isn't it? Um, might have prevented that. But hey ho, you have that many things going on, and these things get tracked. And it was said it was just in that poor condition that it wasn't actually doing the job. Whereas these, um, as you can see, they're solid and the that gap 
it's going to keep that from closing up, it's going to stop our shock absorbers going to full reach and damaging the valves and it's going to prevent our suspension from becoming loose and letting um, the top rubber donut move about and give us extra ride height we don't want because that knocked all our geometry out, that put our camber out, put our tracking out, put our caster out and yeah. right guys, so I'll decompress the suspension on the jack So if we watch this gap there, we'll see it starts to open up. And again. So we can see how movement, much movement we've had to deal with there. And there we are. Fully down. So now I'll get the new one in. So we'll get the bump stop. This little fella here. Which will slide straight into that. Oh. It's easy when you're not holding the camera. So slide straight in there as you can see. All I've got to do now is put a retaining screw in and get brand new ones with a kit. I'm going to put the camera down for this. Stubby Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it's nice and tight. Don't want it coming loose, don't want to be losing it. Right. Be one of the easiest tuning jobs on a mini, surely. And as you can see, we now have control over what the top arm does. So, suspension travel has been limited. So now when the car is in a full roll position, this wheel will be less likely to trail down to the floor carrying the weight of the car down to the floor as opposed to hanging the weight in the air. If the weight was hung in the air, the weight will pull the car down, whereas this weight is travelling to the floor and letting the body roll onto the other side. Whereas with these little bump stops here, that stops that weight. The, the theory, demonstrate theory, um, a few years ago in our championship we all know minis and we know the radius arms. Um, in the standard class, what some people start to do, they start to actually put chunks of wood in between the subframe and the radius arm to limit the amount of droop that the radius arm would have holding the back end of the car down and holding the car more level. So this is this is just a similar thing, but again, it's, it's a standard setup and they do, they do deteriorate, they probably ain't that good from new to be fair, so these poly bushes, definitely, definitely a good upgrade, um, like I say, mini mine, £8.50, it's, it's a 10 minute job at worst, um, as long as everything goes alright, screws come out, don't even have to take the wheels off. Anyway, that's that side done, what I'm going to do well me here, I've got a um, shock absorber pin to put in, so I'm going to try and coax the other one out, if you want to bear with us while we do that. 
Um, I'll pop the shock absorber off so it'll be a bit of twisting, a bit of hammering, usual caper. Right, let's put this down, see if we can get a picture of these. Oh yeah, put a picture of me in it. There we go. Guys with a dual adjustable, so you can just bump and rebound. Okay, let's turn this bolt, see if it's going to thread back for us. Yeah, it's not seized, which is a bonus. It could have seized and it could have snapped off, which would have been typical. Let's see if we can tap it back without mushrooming the end over. Yeah, we've got movement. Right, that's that one out. So it had a bit of a bend in it. It's not great for shock absorber performance when your parts are bent. Oh, this is a new one. Comes with a nylock and a couple of washers go either side the shock or a new spacer. A um, couple of quid, mini mine again. Again, simple job, it's just a nut and bolts job. So, bolt through, spacer, washer, shock absorber. Obviously, you don't want to forget that. first. Oh, I might need a span to stop it spitting. That's, that's, that's the only beauty of the seize just when the bolt seizes in this bottom arm. It doesn't spin when you go to tighten it. Nice. Get the top one back on. Let's knock the washer off.
one I was looking for, the hay hole. Nice. Right, so that's that complete. But well, it's uh, all nice and shiny in there for a change, apart from all the gunk and the muck and the odd bit of rust. So, all it makes me do is do the other side now. So, we'll do the other side, and um, I'll tell you what we'll do we'll, we'll do it with a wheel on. Just see if it can be done now. I know I've got the remains of. Um, One of these bump stops under there so we'll need to take the screw out and let's keep our fingers crossed that the screw wants to uh, be took out let's see how easy a job it can be or not go so we'll turn the steering wheel so what we'll do we'll take some weight off on that jack I'll just be turning on the axle stand and that's not going to be great Go back and get the things that I left around there. I think I'll move this camera stand out of the way as well because it's uh, not going to help anything. There we go. Nice. Let's not forget the screw. So, the side with a wheel on. seen there probably not a lot especially not one of them to zoom it right in anyway side with a wheel on you can see no rubber there but the plates there the rubbers come away from the plate right let's screw drive in and let's pray that it's not like it feels rounded off Right, so I need to get a bit of leverage on that. Mm. I'll quickly try a couple of screwdrivers, it's probably going to be too long, but maybe not. Just a lock didn't feel great in the screw, so I don't want to strip the centre of the screw out. Don't feel great on that one. There, this one. No, I'm not convinced. It looks like it's going to be a laying down job. Okay, so it's going to be a wheel off job by the look of it. It can be done, like I say, as long as the screws are moved. So I'll jack this up, put the wheel off, and get this one changed. Um, do you want to hang with us while I change it? I don't know. 
depends if you've got a bit of dough I suppose. I'll tell you what, leave it up to you guys. I'm going to put you there for now. Get this way whipped off and get it jacked up. Uh, we'll just shove the jack under just for, um, for this piece of it by the look of it. That one actual sand wants to do all the work. Let's take a little bit of weight with this and then if that stand does go, at least we're going to be... Uh, oh good, no car dropping on the floor. It's another wheel for the bin this one. Hammer time on this side. I don't want to have an impact screwdriver at hand, so I have to get one of our lesser screwdrivers and um, persuade it with a knocking stick. Here we are again guys, you know, this is a tyre on the other side. I don't think you can see that colour in there but you know it's like a that's the amount of heat that was getting put into the tyre just because um, it had one little bump stop fail. Put that one to one side, you can see it's got plenty of rubber inside that rim. Well, that'll, be, that'll be mainly our tyre that's um, in there. Right, anyway, back to the bump stop. There's the awkward screw, Let's see what we can do with it. Not sure where you guys are. There you go. Nice. Don't quite have that range yet.
So I'll try another screwdriver, I don't really want to hit that one with a hammer. It doesn't want to go, it wants to slip. It is turning very slowly, but the screwdriver wants to slip out the opening. Just not enough grip with that screwdriver. Right, bear with me, guys. I'm gonna go get a long handled screwdriver. Won't be long. Right, so, I've got something that'll reach a bit. It's just so I can get a tap on the end of it. Give it a tap and see how it goes. Let's pack you down there. Would have weighed. Yep, it's still a weight. I'll get back onto the little one. Fred's are starting to tighten up a little bit now, but at least it's coming out. Yeah, here we go, Fred. Okay, so that's that screw out. What was left of uh, the bump stop? Nothing. Right, so new bump stop. Again, we're going to have to raise this, but I'll uh, I'll cheat. I know I'm on an axle stand under the subframe, so it's not going to go anywhere. Move that screw out of the way. I'll get the jack under. Press up the tension up a little bit. And put the new poly bush in. Sure it's nice and tight obviously. There we go. We'll let the jack out. And as you can see, our suspension travel has been um, limited quite a bit. So that gives a lot more control of the front end now. Hey guys, so simple mod, save your tyres. 
the body roll for less than a tenner and ten minutes work. Obviously, ten minutes work as long as the screws ain't seized or the head's rounded off or anything like that. But let's hope they're not. Right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. See you later.